Okay, today I want to look at a strategy that we use in our ELA classrooms called the RACES strategy. And we use this when we um, answer short answer questions and then we use it as we move into writing. So the first thing I want to do, um, if we come here and look at races, we write races on our paper, we know that R means to restate our question, our prompt, okay? A means to answer it. C means to cite text evidence. E means to explain what I've said. And then S means to sum it up, okay, to summarize it. So let's look, if you go back and look at our inferencing video, I'm using that same passage from um, the Tales of the Chupacabra to answer this question here, okay? And my question says, explain how the examples of recent scientific discoveries support the idea that chupacabras may one day be found use details, okay, so that's going to be my C, from the text in your explanation. Okay, so the first thing I want to do in answering this question, I have to know what it wants me to do. Okay, explain how the examples of recent scientific discoveries support the ideas that chief covers may one, be, one day be found. That's my question. That's what it's wanting me to respond to. So I want to turn that into a statement. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write that here, okay? And you want to remember to indent, okay? I'm not used to, oops, okay. All right, recent, I'm used to putting my hand on the board. Recent scientific discoveries. Sorry, my handwriting is not the best up there. The idea that cheap acabras may one day be found. That is my R because I have restated my prompt, okay? Now, I want to answer it. Explain how the examples of recent scientific discoveries support the idea. I need to put an answer in there, okay? So, the first thing that I'm going to say, this is because... If scientists are finding new species, it's possible, comma, it possible to find proof of the chupacabra. Period. Okay? Make sure you have capital letters. Make sure you have your periods. Okay? That is my A. Now, I want to do my C. Let me explain C to you. C simply means to cite, okay? So, I would want to go back into my story. Now, I'm not going to go back into my story right here because it'll erase everything I've written, okay? But when you get ready to do that, I want you to go back and I want you to underline what you're going to write. So, if I do C here, then I'm going to cite my text evidence. And the way that we teach our kids to do that is we have some... Sentence stems. For instance, the text said, the passage said, the author stated. I'm going to use the text said, comma, quotation marks, and in the text it said, and I've got it written down right here, the idea that 
that undiscovered species could exist empowers our imagination. Now, on this statement, it comes word for word from the text. That's why I have quotation marks here. Okay? I copied that word for word from the text. That's my citing my evidence. Alright? Now, E, I'm going to explain what I mean here. Okay? So when I come back to put my E, I just want to say this is an exciting concept. Okay, capital letter, period. And then my S. I'm going to sum up everything that I've said. So I'm going to put, this is from our desire. From our desire to find and understand the things that are unknown. What I just did was responded to a short answer question using the races strategy. I made sure that I used R, A, C, E, S. Okay, so that means I had five sentences. I used capital letters and I used periods. On my C, I copied it exactly from the text. This is the way that you use the races prompt to answer a short answer question.